very simple, very quick, very easy, roast chicken casserole. This will take me from start to finish, 15 minutes max. What is it? Butter, flour, nor chicken stock pot, cream, chicken or turkey, onions, leeks, asparagus, carrots, peas and parsley. And in my opinion, roast chicken makes the best casserole. So whenever I make a casserole at home, I always roast my chicken first, allow it to cool, and then I chop it up and I put it into my casserole. But what makes an equally delicious casserole is turkey. So when you've got lots of leftover turkey, this is a great way of using it up. In with our butter. 30 grams of butter, 30 grams of flour, we make a blonde roux. The secret when you're making a classic velouté, a white sauce, hot roux, cold liquid. If it's hot liquid, it must be a cold roux. In with some of the water, incorporating air into my roux until it's smooth and it starts to break down the gluten. When you're making a velouté, you have to do lots of little things well. The perfect blonde roux, add your water in, whisk it in, incorporate the air into it, break down the roux, little by little. Put the wooden spoon back in the drawer, use a whisk. Add the last of the water, in with the nor chicken stock pot, in with the 50 mils of cream, bring to the boil and cook it gently for a few minutes. Here's my sauce, my velouté, which is almost ready, in with the chicken pieces. As I say, I always roast chicken off before I make my casserole. You can always go down the supermarket and buy a perfectly good roast chicken, bring it home, chop it up, 15 minutes you've got dinner. And these are my blanched vegetables, blanched little onions, blanched leeks, a bit of asparagus, carrots, and let's not forget the peas. Don't be dictated by what I do. If you want to do a chicken casserole with leeks, perfect. If you want to do a chicken casserole with mushrooms, perfect. If you want to do it with vegetables, your choice. And then bring the heat back into it. It'll literally take about four or five minutes. And to finish, just a sprinkling of fresh parsley. And what makes it really delicious is an all chicken stock pot. Because without that, what would it be? Just a chicken stew.